a most unusual tower. Solar panels arrayed below, shimmering and targeting sunlight to make power in a new way. What is happening here? What's happening with this and the tower? Well, this is the heliostat. It's a large mirror, curved mirror, and it reflects solar radiation to the receiver in the top of the tower. So we concentrate heat at the top of the tower. This is the first time that a solar tower is working uh, commercially in the world, so we are demonstrating maturity of this technology also here. The intense heat up here, 35 stories high, generates steam, which drives turbines to make electricity. It's new and old technology combined. This plant is avoiding the emission of about 20,000 tons of CO2 every year. This is just the start of this massive solar project. In five years, they plan to have several thousand more solar reflecting mirrors stretching almost as far as the eye can see. A second solar tower under construction. They're also testing parabolic trough technology like that used in California. Heat reflected into a central tube to turn turbines. But here, they're really betting on solar towers. In the future, we could expect some more efficiency from the solar tower. In five years, they hope to generate enough electricity for Seville and its 700,000 citizens. For now, it's just enough for a nearby village. A restaurant owner here says fighting bulls once were raised near the solar plant. The Romans knew there was a lot of sun here, so the solar plant is in the ideal location. They're still trying to bring production costs down and boost power storage time when the sun doesn't shine. But they're already convinced of one thing. It's an eco-solution. We, we think that we could uh, supply huge amounts of electricity with these technologies. Al Goodman, CNN, San Lucar La Mayor, Spain.